Well, South Bay water officials asking everyone to cut back 15% because of the drought. KPI X5's Kit Doe on how you can save water and your plants at the same time. So the latest numbers are out, and it turns out that actually, yes, people here in the South Bay have been reducing their water use. And here's one more way you can save. So you want to see the system? This is not some hippie tree hugger thing go crazy. No, and that's what I want to say. No, we're not hippies. We're not tree huggers. You put your wash in, and it's watering. You can hear it going through the pipes. Sherry Stein has just installed a so-called laundry to landscape gray water system. It's just what it sounds like. With a turn of a lever, it diverts wastewater from the washing machine, pushes it through a one-inch pipe, and out into the front yard. Battling the drought these days is all about multitasking. It's really good because my trees are healthy and um, they're producing beautifully and I don't have to figure out how to water them. So it's just happening. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing two things at the same time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. The water goes into a bed of mulch, which then spreads out over time. This laundry to landscape system does not require a permit. Costs about $200 to $400 for materials. And yes, you can apply for a $400 rebate. Estimated water savings, up to 15,000 gallons a year. That is a lot of water. We live in a climate where every drop of water saved is so essential, not only to your own home, but also to the community itself. Today's push for gray water systems comes as we are learning just how much the South Bay has been cutting back. Water use data comparing 2021 versus 2019 shows that in the spring we were using about 25% more this year. As news of the drought spread, that number has dropped steadily. As of July, the South Bay has cut water use by 6%. This downward trend, did it surprise you guys? No, I mean, people responded really well during the last drought. Water District spokesperson Matt Keller says they'll likely hit the mandatory 15% reduction target in the coming months. This drought will eventually come to an end. We don't want to go back to the old ways of using water. We want to be saving water and conserving water and make that a way of life here in Santa Clara County. In Cupertino, Kitto, KPIX 5. Now it's